Kayak gini abis. Hello, please. Can you indicate that you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. How did the, how did the day go? Hello, Ibuku, are you there? Hello, Ibuku, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, good evening. So, um, as I said um, last week, um, today we are going to be looking at how to set up uh, our Mongo to our Mongo DB to a remote server. How to set up our Mongo to um, our Mongo DB to a remote server. So. But, but before we go, I'd like to ask how is um for Ibuku, I think Bella hasn't started at all. Ibuku, how is um the current task going? Your task eight. Ah, ha, ha. ah well is everything is going is is going. Well or Why not well. Know. I believe it's going fantastic. Sorry, it's not going on yet. It, 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 it is not going on well yet. Well yet. Well yet. So what's the blocker? What's the problem? I said before, I'm still having like a little. I understand the whole Axion and the API thing, but I'm like having a little trouble using it. Like I did my own research, and the other research that came across, I found easier was using. Um, build geocoder then like linking it with MapQuest API. I don't want to send because this. Why are you going API through that, that, that route? Not... That route is a very long route, man. Hello, are you there? Hello, are you there? Hello? Hello? I think I lost the book. Huh? But I need to understand that it's all of you actually with me for this call. So can you just... Um... Yeah, okay, hello. Can you hear me? I'm back. Oh, yeah. I can hear you now. Uh, so you seen where my I go when it seems that it was going through the long route. Yeah, it's actually going through, you're actually going through a very long route. You know, you have to go through no this defense before you know, but it's fine. If you think that will get you the job done for now, at least let's see. You know, it's also a learning process. Let's actually see what you can actually get from that. Oh, okay. So today I'm gonna to, um, show you how to you know link use uh, a remote um, database. I'm gonna show you how to use a remote database um, for for your work. You're gonna be using um, um, MongoDB Atlas. I don't know if any of you have actually um, even if you have heard of that before. Okay. Sorry, who did who did a thumbs up now? I couldn't get on time. So it's me. Okay, okay, awesome. So I would like you guys to code along with me. Not even not, not really coding actually, but I'd like you guys to you know follow me as I actually do this. So I'm gonna share my screen. So let me know when you can see my screen. Yeah, we can. 
you can see us coming up. Okay. I'm sure we are currently familiar with um we are we are currently familiar with how to link your application to sorry. I'm sure uh, we are all currently familiar with you know how to um link our application to to um to MongoDB using using the the, the local server. Is that is that is that correct? Yes, is that that's good. Okay. Okay. So the first thing is for us to actually, I would like us to be on the same page with 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 me. So I would like you to be on. Um, just a minute. I'm going to put this link on the chat so that we can all go to the MongoDB Atlas Atlas page. So you can all set up an account. If you have an account already, I would like you to actually log in. Okay. Please let me know when. Let me let me know when when we are there. We on are we have we created an account? No, no. Let me so I'm actually I'm actually not um with my PC right now, so I'm just okay. So you're gonna be following me as I Okay. Yes. So um so Ibuko, are you with your are, are you with your PC? I'd like you to share your screen. That's if you are with your system. Hello, are you there? Or should I just continue? Um, I'm I'm there. I said I should share my screen. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. So can you just um sign in? Do you have an you don't have an account already? So can you just sign like create an account? I'm supposed to go to try free anyway, if you've not created an account before. I actually don't want to create like another account again, so that's why I'm asking you to go through that. Time quite slowly, Letitia. But I think I've created an account. I think I have. Oh, you've created an account before? Yes. It's fine. It's okay. If you can come before, probably I'll just continue. So once you create an account, I think the first thing you the first thing you have to do is to create a project. So I'm just gonna do that. Let me know when, if, when you can see my screen. Can I see your screen now? Okay, so let's create a project. So um creating a project, you have to give a project a name. So let us call it um what should we call it? Let's call it Kokan. Or let us call it, um, I don't know. What do you guys think would be the best to actually call it? Good yeah, copy is okay. Okay. So once you create um, the, the project, you know, it now depends on how many people are actually working on that project with you. So do you have other people you want to also add to the project or is it just a solo project? So if you're adding, um, if, you are, if it's just yourself, you're going to be the project owner. But if you're adding other people, you can as well just put your email here. 
So can somebody just give me their email so that I can add them? Or perhaps we could actually add somebody later on. You know, that just create a project for now. So once you, you've created a new project, the project is called Code Camp. This is what you see, you see like an empty shell. So the next thing you're supposed to do is now to build a database. That's to create a database. Um, for for MongoDB, you know, for MongoDB Atlas, actually, there are different um, pricing and method, but you could not just start with, if you're, test, you're building for test, you can actually start with the shared account. That's that's for free. I think it's about, um, they'll give you 515 MB, which for me, I think is, is enough. Is enough for you to you know um create create a test account with then you need to choose where you want to um where you want to set, set up the server i always choose choose aws because um i use i oftentimes use aws for my for my work and then it is it is going to be easy for me if i want to you know probably migrate my 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 server already although while i've not used the other one i don't know how easy it is but i just stick to aws so once you stick stick to AWS, you can also uh, you know uh, rename the cluster. So the cluster is like um, so the DB itself is the old DB. So the cluster is like that one that part. I will, I will like explain this. So it's like the particular section you're going to be using in the in the DB for this particular app. So let us call it um, what should we call it? Let us call it test. So and once you create um once once you create a cluster name, you won't be able to change it again. So you have to be careful while naming naming your cluster to be sure that the cluster is actually relatable to what you're actually doing. So let us create a cluster. So um this is now you know this is a cluster account already. How do we um make make use of this uh, the cluster account? Now you need to create an account to authenticate. So um, you're actually going to you know, create a username and a password to enter into this particular, um, 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 to um, connect to this particular cluster. Right. And then this is different from, this username and password is different from what you used to create the old Atlas DB account itself. So what I'm just going to use is, um, for the username, let me just put test owner. Uh, and then for the password, um let me also use test on well, let me just put pass password one to three so using password one to three as um i hope I, I forget i'm always i mean i hope i remember password one to three as the password then you create a user ah it's not working No, let us let let's allow this to suggest um one for us. I'm gonna be copying this this somewhere else. Please, guys, let me know if, if you have any question. So I'm just trying to set up the server now. We are still gonna to connect to it to um to a simple you know Node.js application, and then we'll see we'll see how to actually do that. It's the same thing as what you know um before anyway. So now we've, we've created a user and uh, what kind of environment, the second one is kind of environment that we want to use. So um, how do we use the account now? So for now, we are still gonna be using it on our local environment. If if your server, if you know, perhaps you've now created different kind of environments and uh, you want to set it up in the cloud or probably you've set it up you know, your server somewhere else, probably AWS and the rest, then you can choose cloud environment. But for now, um, we are still using this on our, on our, on our local system, so we choose um, my, my local environment. Uh, for, um, for development, uh, if you are probably are creating a solo, uh, a solo project, you can always choose my local environment for that. So, and then again, um, you also need to choose the IP address that can also access your account. Because um, the reason is just that you don't just want anybody to be able to access your account from anywhere. This is just like a, a security feature. So while if you have more than one person working your account, perhaps you can actually whitelist, whitelist the old, you know, 
the whole IP address. But for now, I'm going to just make it my own IP address. Then um, I, I click on finish and close. Once I um, click on finish and close, it creates the, the, the database for me. And I can go to the database. So now we have a database currently ready. So the um, the DB is called um, the DB is called CodeCamp. That is it. You can see it's actually part of the database I actually have here. And then uh, the name of the of the cluster is actually called Test, which is you can see here. So now we need to uh, you know set up this um, set up this. We need to link this um, database to to a Node.js app and then and then see how how how, how we how we currently do it. So um, do you have any questions so far? Any question from anybody so far? Please, can you raise up your hand if you are good and uh, you want me to continue? Please raise up your hand if you are good and uh, okay. So I'm just I'm going to set up um, you know um, a node, an Express account. Just a minute, just to test what we've done here, and uh, you see, just to see how how it's actually functioning. So I'm just gonna a uh, uh, quick. Hello. Oh, sorry for that. I think I'm having some internet problems. Just give me a minute, please. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can. We can okay. See okay. So let me just um. So I just want to create just a simple um Node.js account or um, a Node.js app, you know. So instead of me just going all over, all over, I'll just perhaps you know just copy some things. Let me let me store Express uh, and Mongoose. Since we're not going to be doing much, I'm just going to do Express and Mongoose here.
So from um, the, the assignment that you guys did, I noticed that um, you know, some of you are taught to um, are taught to um, bring out your Just a minute, please. Hey. Please let me know if you guys don't understand what I'm trying to do here. Because I actually believe you guys have gone through this already. I'm gonna use a callback instead of you know instead of using um instead of using this in carriage here. So this is actually very fairly basic. Let me just use I just create a port. Mm, where should I put that? Hold on. Let me put the port here. Mm. So um, you, you don't have to pick a particular database for your assignment. Just use um, MongoDB. MongoDB. MongoDB is actually what you should use. So the assignment is meant for people who are taught other type of data, database. So I'm actually showing you guys um, how to uh, connect your, um, you know, your MongoDB to a remote server in case that is what you want to do. So I've actually set up, you know, this is like a, a basic account. But before we before we even go ahead, let me try to just do a basic um let me do like a get. So this is like a get request, you know, just just wants to test um the account weight. But um, I've created this, but I don't think actually, um, actually I, I don't think I I installed a dot env because there's no there's not going to be a way for me to you know um, a way for me to read the files in the dot env file. So I need to add a file a package called dot env. Dot env allows me to be able to read um, files in the in the .env section. 
So now that we're actually good to to go, we already have like a basic um a basic account set up here. This can actually work, you know, you can start building from here. Um now it's time for us to connect. So do we have any question from do we have any question from anybody? I pass any messages on the chat. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, okay, the person that just joined. So what we're trying to do here is to create our MongoDB account. Um, so we are trying to not use a local MongoDB server. So we're trying to use a server in the cloud. So we're using MongoDB Atlas here. So what we did was to create an account. After we created an account, we created a DB and we created a cluster. So once we created a cluster, now what I did then was to now set up just a basic, you know, Express Express application. Then what we're gonna do next is now to now connect that. We're not gonna collect our connect our Express application to to the server so that we can we can actually get going. I think any other question. If not, okay, I think. Uh, okay, okay. I have a, sure. Um, well, can you just quickly run through the uh, the whole uh, connect? This whole, code, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Because um, I'm not actually used to it. I'm just new. Oh, okay, okay. So this is I. We all know about use strict is. Use strict is just um. If it's, it's just let you know, you tell you know, no JavaScript that are actually working in, in a controlled environment so that your code can actually, so I, um, the, the, the int can actually, you know, catch your catch whatever error, error you're, you're actually guessing. So in this line here, what I just did was just to call um, Express, introduce Express into the app. Then I introduced, you know, um, among goes into the app. At this line three here, what I did was just to initiate the, initiate the Express app so that we can start using the, you can, you can use using it as app itself. Then what I did was, yeah, was just to call the ports. So if we, we deploy this into a server, so it's going to take the port of the server. If not, then it's going to be, um, then it's going to be a port, um, uh, a port 3000, a port 3000. That means that our default app is going to be port 3000. It's, it's actually going to be port 3000. So what I did here was to call the MongoDB um, uh, URL, which I'm going to put, in this .env file. So the .env file is an environmental file. So it's only um, it's only exists in the local in, in the local file. So uh, once I will put the um, the URL is it's actually going to take it, but for now it's just empty. I've not I've not included what's, what's going to be there. So what I did was to introduce the um, the MongoDB Atlas URL that I'm going to put later on. I introduce it in, into this app, and then we all know what Mongo does connect do. You know Mongo does connect just Turn on the application so that we can see what's going on here, and these are other parameters that that, that I actually use. So um, use use these are um, MongoDB params that um, these two here use new URL parser and um, use um, you know I actually you know let me just continue. I will explain that to you later. So then the, this callback will only happen if this actually runs if this MongoDB actually connects. And uh, the catch if there's an error. So MongoDB connections open the server, and then uh, because it's Mongoose, the server actually opens, you know, um, it opens and it doesn't close. So we can actually use the same the same connection. And we can actually use the same connection. Um, DB on, you know, if there's an error while we are trying to turn on the um the DB while trying to connect to it. We will get this error, which is connection. Probably if there's a network error or something like that, you know, we'll, we'll get that. And then this one here is just to get a, uh, a basic get request so that we can um, first be able to, you know, um, test the application. App the listen listens to that app, and uh, it, once we set up the account, it lets us know if the account is actually working. This app just listen just is just um is a method on the on the app um on on Express. So I don't know if you guys notice if I if I actually set up this app, it's possible that it may not actually work. It may not work because um something is actually missing here. Something is missing, which is the uh, package dot um 
package does the JSON. The package of JSON file is actually um, I'm, I'm missing. So I'm going to um, first of all initiate a git request first. And uh, for me to create a uh, for me to create a package of JSON file, so I'm going to create a new like like a new application. So what I did initially was just to you know just to op open the was just to create the folders. So just give me a minute, please. So let me just and uh, before you can actually run any application, you need to run the application with a script. So you can't just um, there is no way for us to run this application right now. So I'm just gonna I'm include some scripts here. Just a minute. So I'm just going to, um, I just included some script. This script is to, you know, just to start the, um, the node application for us. Uh, and if you notice here, I actually have two scripts here, start and the dev. The, I installed Nodemon. I don't know if you guys have heard of Nodemon. Nodemon allows you to um, continuously run your, run your application without it. Uh, um, probably if there's an error and it cuts, Nodemon will restart the server for you. It's just make sure that your application is always live. So for me to um, start this application, I'm going to use the dev application. Just uh, I've not installed Nodemon. Sorry, this is actually the first time I'll be using this um, this computer. Sorry, while we wait for that, so let us wait for that to you know to to work. It's currently installing. So um, that is fully installed. So while, while I was away, I just did something young in it just to initiate a, a, a young package here. So now that we have Nodemon, let me try to start the server again. Yes. So now um, we've started um, the application and the application is, 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 is running already. Um, so if you look at this, uh, application started and uh, you know uh it started on server ports 3000 but there's a problem the problem here is that we couldn't connect to mongoose so now that's going to be the next um, um point of action that's the next thing we are going to do now so what we have to do now is connect the application to mongoose so i'm just i want to change my reshare the mongoose the mongoose um, applic um application so for us to for you to connect, you know, we are in the in the in the database and the cluster. I just click on connect. So once you click on connect, now it gives you three options. What are the, the three options? You know, how do you intend to connect to your application? Do you want to use a shell? 
do you want to connect it straight to your application or you want to you know use a mongodb compass MongoDB is also another another product entirely that won't be covering in this class so just um for this purpose of this class i'm going to be clicking on um connect your application we are connected to our application directly and uh, you know the kind of driver you, you're going to be using so node already has like a database driver driver itself which is actually baked into node and then once if you install your node today the driver you're going to be getting is actually more than 4.1 so we'll actually leave that and the next thing is to actually to now connect your application to to uh, you know um to connect using uh the connection string that's the correction url so if you want to see the old how mongodb um mongo mongodb you know suggest to you how you should do it but for this, for the purpose of this class, just because we've you know set up an account before, we are just going to be using this this um, link here. This is the link we are going to be putting into our .env file, and it tells us. Let me just copy that. It tells us. It tells us that we should replace password with our password, and uh, uh, of the test owner. He already. It has already told us what we're actually going to do here. Very very simple. So just copy this link here. Then you go back to your. Then we go back to our application. Just give me a minute. Let me quickly let me share to that. So we go to back our application. We go to, you know, um, dot the what we created in in our dot env file. And then we paste it. We will actually paste this in there. If you notice what I've done here, I have. You can see that it is not. I didn't put a string. Um, I actually didn't put a quote anywhere. You know, it has single double quotes. This is the way the every file works. And if you notice here, there's no space. There's no space. You know, before last, it's actually like a key. Um, you know, uh, a key, a key value pair. But there is no. There is no. Uh, you know. There is no. Um. 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 um Quotation. So what we have to do next is to just connect, change our password. We change our password with what, what we have here. So just let me confirm something. So we're gonna be connecting that. This would also be going. So what that is done, let us stop our server and uh, you know and connect again. So you're saying something? Just a minute. So we're actually getting an error here. The error we are getting is um, the UI parameter to open UI must be a string and go undefined. So let us check what is going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. So actually, I read, I named this uh, incorrectly. It's actually a URL here, but I wrote a URI here. So URI and URL, I'll leave us to go and determine how that is, the difference between the two. Okay, we are still getting an error. Okay, just a minute, please. Let, guys, let me see what is going on here. Let me be sure that we can actually see um, that our application can read can read the this um the e e environment. So that's actually our problem here. Yeah. So if you notice, there's actually saying um the env um. MongoDB undefined. That means that the application can currently not 
read this process.env file. So just let me see what the problem is here. Uh, let me let me be sure that the the Donyev package actually installed. Sorry guys, I actually don't know what's going on in my laptop today. No, let me just add the other package. Okay, so let me try that again. Yeah, so, uh, hold on guys, sorry. I need to check what the problem is here. It's telling me that, just a minute, sorry guys. Sorry for that, please. Let me just confirm what is going on here. Mm. Um, I think you haven't um, required the .env file. Ah, really? And I'm fighting with it. Nice one, nice catch. Just a minute. Just, I need to stop this. Ah, perfect. So now we see we can actually log in the, so thank you for that actually, thank you for catching that. That didn't really come to my head. So um, now we've been able to connect our application to, what's going on here again? So I'm actually seeing a collection error here, but I think this is this is my network here. So now that we've been able to successfully connect our application to to um to a remote server, so we will just I, I think let us try to do some um you know some guest requests and uh, just to be sure that this is actually working fine. But before we continue that, we need to complete. We need to complete that.
Karena namong gusti ya di sini. Uh, still, give me a minute, please. Let me check something. Uh, okay, let me just do a quick Google search to see why I'm actually getting a network connection error. Okay, I think one of the problem here is is actually um, one of the problem here may actually be may actually be my IP address. So just a minute, please. Let's see if it works now. What I did exactly is so Mogo connected. So let me just show you guys what I did. In fact, I'm sure that you guys also have this kind of problem when setting it up. It's been a while I did this. But let me just show you what I actually did. So what what what, what happened was that um the 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 IP address that I did initially was not exactly my you know, it wasn't that accurate. So MongoDB was actually rejecting my me connecting to that particular address. So what I did was just to add a new address and then I clicked on, uh, it's not showing here. Then I clicked that, the, um, then I whitelisted all, all addresses actually so that everybody will be able to actually um, connect to my address. If we are using like a dedicated, uh, a dedicated server, then you can now point to that particular server's IP address. But for now, because I'm doing locally, and that's why I have to actually, you know, uh, whitelist all, all this address. So the next thing we'll do is we need to complete our MongoDB, um, you know, we need to um, finish connecting it to the, to the database. So once you click on connect, connect your application, then all um, oh, done. We can see it's showing MongoDB connected. So let us, let us try, to, we are supposed to be able to close this. Just give me a minute.
that. I think my network also has something to do with this. So guys, that's actually basically how to, you know, um, how to set up, how to set up that. So let's just quickly make um, probably, you know, um, uh, a, a get request and uh, see how this actually work. In fact, I think we could actually use a browser. First, I'll just like to um, test uh, this. Just to test our get request to be sure that our get request is actually, um, I mean, the, the routes. So a minute, let me share my screen. The first thing I actually do is just, you know, use my browser to go to local host. 3000, so we get a lower. That means that that's actually working now. So the next thing for us to do is to let us try to push some things into our database. There's something that I'll just like to show you guys. So just a minute. So let me create, um, sorry. Keyboard. Sorry guys, my keyboard is in, um, is in the US, I need to set it back. I think it's the UK, I need to set it back. Okay. Let's make our base to be um local host. Please, are we all familiar with um with this with the rest um with, with the rest clients for VS Code? Is are we all familiar with the rest client for VS Code? So let me return this. 